Hey everybody, Luigi369 here. You might be wondering, why am I at the top of the Fanatics Tower? Long story, I had a failed recording where I deleted the recording because I didn't think... I thought I saved before I went in here, and then I didn't, so I'm at the top now. I fought a dragon. That's about all you missed. There's three left, Doomgaze, and then... Those two in Tekka's Tower. All you need to do today is beat the Fanatics Tower. We're going to put on wall rings, and we are going to put on gold hairpins. I am also going to give a wall ring to Sabin. Gave seven the wall ring, right? So using the wall ring in this boss fight coming up makes Terra and Seven invincible, but I don't think I can cast life three on them because of the reflect. And Ultima is ignore or er, uh, reflect ignores Ultima, which when this boss dies, he casts Ultima and it immediately kills you. If you do not have life 3. Because life 3 revives you after you die. So basically what this fight is boils down to is. Me keeping a party member alive. While the boss kills itself. Trying to attack Terra and Seven. And he starts by just attacking Gogo. Let me just test. If I can cast life 3 on myself. I don't think I can. I can! Okay, we won the fight. I should have done that last time. I should have tried that. Okay, we won the fight. He literally- He can only use magic. He can't hit us. It is impossible for him to hit us. I'm just gonna use super balls. It has to go really fast. Chubby gets hit, he changes his weakness, and he's only weak to that thing. There'll be one thing that heals him, and there'll be one thing he's, like, weak against. And every time he gets hit, he changes it. Every time anything hits him, he changes what he's weak to and what he gets healed by. So it's basically, how long does it take for you to hit him? That's what the fight boils down, boils down to. And it's a really annoying fight, and I hate this fight. It's not even hard. If you think to cheese it like I am, it's not hard. It's just tedious. The last recording was a half hour of me fighting him. That is all that happened to the recording. It was a half hour of me fighting him. And I don't want to do it again, but now I have to. Okay, that did a lot of damage. And when he, he dies, he casts Ultima. I already said that, and Doom won't hit us. Maybe he'll just cheese himself with Doom. That'd be funny. Did he just mute himself? Dang it. And I healed him. Oh, of course. I'm gonna do this just because why not? We'll do barely any damage to him, but it'll do damage to him. I'm also pretty sure this is a reuse sprite from Kefka, uh, from Vector. That if you remember that boss. See, so you have to get hit by physical attacks. He changes his attack. Try Dazer. Maybe this will do something. Probably not. 
No! God, I hate this fight so much. The funny thing is I'm legitimately invincible. To everything except his final attack. But, now I just have to whittle him down. There is no possible way he can kill me. He can do damage to himself like he just did, but he can't kill me. Because he can only use magic attacks. And they reflect off me. Ooh, hang on, I have an idea. So if I do this, right? Like fire three on all of us. It'll reflect both of them. So it should hit him twice, maybe. Bio. Just gonna hit himself with it. Say, if he's weak to whatever I hit him with, he will get taken damage from it. Or get healed by it, you know what that works too. I don't believe we can up on more than one person. No, you can't. Like, eventually he has to go down, so... Eventually he'll just kill himself, even if I run out of MP. Nothing, I love this fight so much. I love this fight. <laughs> this fight is great. I don't know what you're talking about. This fight isn't annoying at all. Not at all. Not at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just die. I'm gonna use Magicite, because why not? Not gonna use Magicite anywhere else, might as well use it now. What did that do? That did nothing. Use all the mad side, because I have nothing else to do. I just have to hope that he kills himself at some point. I have to damage us. I hope that doesn't happen again. Okay, well he can't hit us now, so it's fine. Let's try Pearl again. Let's try Fire 3 again. 
running out of MP though, and we're gonna MP restoring stuff, so just got to sit there and wait for him to kill himself. Oh, come on. Just die already! Please die! Die. Oh my god, this is awful. You know what, at least I can't die. At least that's not a thing that's possible. Please die, you, you, oh my god, let's go. I don't want to hate this fight so much. Alright, that's Seven's last magic deck. Terry, you're coming up on the last magic deck that you can use for it to fight. We'll make it... Fire, fire two. Let's just hope he kills himself now. Thank God, we won. Okay, life three. Life three came in clutch. We won. See, we're dead, but we're not. We won. 10 MP. Got a mega elixir. A mega elixir. That's all we got. One mega elixir. We got the gem box, though. The gem box is probably the best relic in the game. Combined with the economizer, which we currently have, well, as soon you get your two magic a turn for two MP because the economizer makes it so that every spell in the game consumes one magic point. Probably the best setup in the game. And you can get multiple economizers. You cannot get multiple gem boxes. There is only one. We have Doom Gaze and then a couple other dragons and Kefka's Tower left, and then. We're done. I'll just spend the rest of this. I'll just spend like seven minutes trying to find Doom Gaze. And if we. Uh, I'll spend two minutes trying to find Doom Gaze. If we don't find him, I'm ending the episode and then I'm gonna go grind. Then we're gonna find Doom Gaze, get some economizers, find somewhere that sells a pair of spread shoes, and then. promptly storm Kefka's Tower. Thank God that ended. That was awful. Now I just gotta run down all these stairs. I think we're close to the bottom though. This should be the bottom. Treasure, treasure! That was awful. And I hated it. But it's over now. I never have to go back to the Fanatic Tower again until I inevitably replay this game and have to go there to get the stupid gem box. Okay. I'm gonna take off the Moogle charm. Actually, no, the Moogle charm doesn't matter. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna fly around and look for Doom Gaze. That was fast. Try to end this fast.
That should do a lot of damage because he's doom gauge to be weak to holy. Come on. Just die. Arrow. No, that's not what you should be casting. Come on, Palm Rush with Fire 3. Let's go. Get him, get him, get him. Just don't run away. That is the one thing you cannot do. If you run away, I'm going to murder your family. Mimic. Bomb rush, keep going. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes! Productive episode. Final Fantasy VI. Beat Doom Gaze. We got the gem box. We beat that stupid fight. Dropped Peach of Mat. Peach of Mat. Magicite dropped out of Doom Gaze's mouth. She's the Magicite Bahamut. If I believe out of 26 espers, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That 25 goes right there and 26 goes there. There are three, there are two espers left. One of them is rewarded for beating all eight dragons. So the other two are in Kefka's tower. I don't know where the other one is. I'll look that up. But on the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, we're going to be getting the last Esper. I'll have some more spurt shoes. I'm going to get an Economizer. And then we will be prepared to storm Kefka's Tower in two episodes. We're storming Kefka's Tower. See you guys then.